This is a G54B flywheel with a T56 clutch disc with a T56 inputs flying. These discs came in two different sizes. This is the larger 240 millimeter disc. It, I had a Chevy input spline put on. Where your problem is is that somebody took the spline off two inches behind the tip of this pilot bearing. Well, if I take that out of there, let's see what I do now. You can see I could I could tell just about how much I can put in there and how much I can take out. Well, we spoke about taking a quarter inch out of the uh, bell housing and placing the pilot bearing into the flywheel. Even if I do that, you're still a quarter inch shy of what you need. While you're here, I will put this together. basically the T56 wide block setup when it's all set.
So anyway, the decision has to be made on whether to shorten this bell housing. At best, I can take it in 10 to 12 millimeter. Well, that's still going to leave 8 millimeter out of the spline. It's your decision. The best thing that you could do right now is get a different input shaft. That's what I would do. And then let, leave everything else set. If you want me to build the clutch forks in, I'll have to cut a hole on each side, put a shaft through it, use the clutch fork, and then find a throwout bearing. It's going to be a lot of extra work. If you want me to, I can just find you a throwout bearing clutch uh, fork and send it with this unit and just use a hydraulic system. Okay, Len Crisp, if in fact that is your name. This is the T56 wide block bell house. This is for the short shaft, obviously. <coughs> this is for the long shaft. The problem you have is in the shaft. Now this is the wide block 4G or the uh, G54B. They have a wider bolt boss. There's a bolt pattern of four, and it's got a six bolt crankshaft. Or yeah, crankshaft. At the end of the day, you're quite correct when you said 135 on the uh, dowel pins comes out to about 13 and a quarter inches.